record on it. Oh my see. god. I wasn't. Honey, it really is. It's yes. Like, on any camera, you gotta push record. Well, you said push the red button, so I thought you meant this one. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> well, babe, I told you, you need to teach me how to use it because I don't know how to use it. I said the red red. <laughs> You said push the red button and you went like that. I don't see Yes, you, you did. You take a picture. <laughs> I asked you to teach me. That's why I was like, babe, it's not moving. Hey guys, so we're here. We finally made it to San Antonio. Right, it's San Antonio? It's San Antonio. So, there it is. a little bit upset at me because he had we I thought I had recorded a scammer call and it turns out to be that I didn't record it at all so I'm sorry if they call again I'll definitely record it but there he is upset <laughs> We were stuck in traffic for a long time, so it took us some time to get to San Antonio. But thankfully, it looks like it's going to be some heavy traffic out of here. But hopefully, we'll be out of here soon to make our way to Arizona. Or, or the way my son says, Arizona. It's not Arizona. It's Arizona. Okay? So... The ways is taking us around the traffic, thankfully. So yeah, I'll just be clipping in now that I know how to record. <laughs> Sorry, honey. So, never a dull moment with this family. So stay tuned. Bye. So we're a mile away from Ozona. You ate too many blueberries? Say hi. Hi. He's hi. also eating donuts. Alrighty guys, we'll, we'll keep y'all updated. We're trying to go all the way straight, non-stop to Arizona. It's about 16 to 18 hours drive, depending on how, how much we stop. I did get a little bit car sick after San Antonio so we did stop a couple of times because it's been a while we don't travel like this and I was getting car sick but thankfully I'm feeling a lot better so I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to fully drive without stopping but we'll see what happens I'll keep y'all updated hey guys so those lights that you see over there that are coming up is Fort Stockton. So we are officially getting closer to Arizona. From here, El Paso is about four hours then or three from Fort Stockton. It's like three, right? I do enjoy being in Texas a lot more now than I did when, when Alex and I first got married. But I still do miss the views of the mountains and the sunsets and everything so we'll get to we'll get to live some of that for a while at least and just freshen up our minds with with the beautiful views So I just finished helping my hub, my hubby with the driving. We literally stopped. We're right in the edge of El Paso and Las Cruces at a love. So. I'm excited because we should be getting to Arizona around eight in the morning, I think. So, so yeah, it is currently 
2.39 and we're here in Las Cruces. Well, technically it's still El Paso, but we're literally like maybe 10 minutes from the border of where El Paso and Las Cruces meet. So yeah. All right, well, I just wanted to touch in with you guys and I'm gonna let y'all know how it was actually a pretty tough drive. As you can tell, my face, I'm like really sleepy, so I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna have to stay up for a little bit to try and help Alex, but if I see that he's doing good, then I'm just gonna go to sleep. So, good night. I am back. You can see the yellows and the oranges coming out. Isn't that just beautiful? I mean, I just wanted, in case, I mean, I know it's 2019 or whatnot, but just in case y'all haven't been to Arizona or ever seen a sunset light or sunrise like this, that y'all get to enjoy this beauty. Right now it is 4.30. I mean, it, honestly, the camera doesn't do it justice. It's, it's beautiful outside. And it's actually pretty cold. We got off at a rest stop and it, it's pretty cold. This is the exit off of I-10. Oh, 
down, babe. Calm down. Look. Wait, slow down a little bit so I can get. We are officially closer to my mom's home. I cannot wait. I haven't seen my family for a year, for about a year, guys. So we didn't even get to come see them for the holidays, for Thanksgiving and Christmas, anything like that. So I'm really excited to see my mom, my brothers, my nephews. One of my nephews I haven't even met. He was born in April. And I haven't met him yet. German King Chacon. He's actually, I'm gonna baptize him so he's like my future godson. Or our future godson, I should say. So I'm really excited about that. I haven't seen my brothers, my sister-in-law, um, my two other godchildren. I have Mia and Adrian that I'm, I want to go visit. I haven't seen them, like I said, for a year. So as we're getting closer, my heart is like thumping. I'm starting to get emotional because I haven't seen my family in such a long time. What? We're here? What the? 
¿te acuerdas, mi amor? Say hi to my blog. <laughs> Even Oreo came along. I was on my way to the grocery store because I thought you guys were gonna get here like around 7:30. Yeah. The chorizo. Oh, well, I saw you guys coming up. We have some money. Yeah. I know we're like wait is, we forgot that you had the little orange car. Yeah. Welcome back. Thanks. Yeah. Where's your other crocs? Where's it? You can clip all the stuff <coughs> off. Of Look, they're right here, Alex. That's the other one. You like Star Wars bubble? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, li I like Star Wars. He likes everything. He he really liked them when we went to the. What was I, it? I just checked. Remember the Jeep bubble? Yeah, I just remembered. You Jor just remembered? Georgie. <laughs> Is it wet? Jordan had it. I don't Johnny know, get my Jordan socks wet. Like yeah? Yeah. That, that should be a marigold part. The orange one, you see it? Yeah. I saw the last time. It's really nice. 